Baldy, let's say Shanahan, John Lynch, they come to you and they go, Brian Baldinger, you've been in this league a long time. The last time we went to the Super Bowl in 2019, we had a little bit of a hangover in 2020. How do we avoid the Super Bowl hangover this year? Well, tell me, like I don't have it in front of me, Joe, but tell me what the quarterback was play. What the quarterback play was like the year after the Super Bowl. Not good. The guy got hurt. He lost his best receiver a quarter into the season when he threw high, and George Kittle got his leg almost blown off. And then he had a high ankle sprain all year. He played terrible. Yeah. So that's that. That will lead to a hangover when your quarterback play goes like that. I don't expect that from Brock. Um, I don't expect much to change from the way that he plays. I mean, obviously, you had a couple games, Cleveland. You know, you could. Maybe you could say the Super Bowl, but I, I thought he was fine. Like, there's going to be a couple of games teams are going to get his number. Um, but he's going to win a lot. Of, he's going to help you win a lot of games. And so I don't think you're going to see a quarterback go in decline the way they did after that Super Bowl loss. And so that'd be the first thing I would say. And then you're going to get Hafanga back. You're going to get Dre back eventually. You've restocked, you know, on the defensive line. You've got a draft with 11 picks. Like, you know, you look at – what they have done, whether it's it's Kittle or it's McKivitt or it's Ofongo or Dre, like they're fifth rounds. Nobody's drafted in fifth round like they have, you know. And so you get you get this draft this year where who knows where your next star is going to come from? What round? I feel like that could it could be a corner. Like I feel like every team could use a corner. Um, the way Kansas City, you know, was able to let Legarius Sneed go. They didn't want to lose him. But they they drafted three corners a year before. Right. They're all on the field and they all can play. So, like I feel like a corner is coming at some point. Um, you know, I think you're going to get an offensive lineman that's going to start and upgrade the offensive line in this draft. Uh, and who knows what they do with Ayuk, and if they go wide receiver in this draft and go, we'll draft his replacement. 